services provided by nature are the very foundation of human economic and social well-being. And in many countries in Africa, the poor are the most dependent on them and thus the most adversely affected by environmental degradation. Before science has developed, our ancestors were living in harmony with the nature. They knew very well the importance of the services provided by different ecosystems. But when we came in with the so-called development and economic and so on and so forth, this is when we have destroyed the equilibrium, the balance in the system. Convincing policymakers of the contribution of natural capital to the economy and human well-being has always been a great challenge. Yet, Rwanda has demonstrated that it is not impossible. This was made possible by the excellent cooperation between REMA and the Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning, Meinkofen, and by demonstrating the economic benefits of environmental sustainability. Evidence of these economic benefits was highlighted in a PEI-supported economic valuation of the services provided by Gishwati Forest and Rugezu Wetland. One of the findings was that a 167% rise in the per unit cost of electricity was a result of the degradation of both Gishwati Forest and Rugezu Wetland, which reduced water inflows to hydroelectricity storage lakes. Um, in the northern part of the wetland, it has two power stations that uh, were producing electricity and because of the degradation of the wetland, there had been a drastic drop in hydropower production, which of course affected the household access to electricity. Results of this study were crucial to catalyze government action. The study itself triggered rehabilitation efforts led by the Rwanda Environment Management Authority. Rehabilitation uh, efforts um, that saw resurgence of water levels and uh, uh, consequently resurgence of power levels to original um, power production levels. Another economic study supported by PEI demonstrated that about 15 million tons of soil was lost annually due to soil erosion. This decreased agricultural productivity at a cost equivalent to 2% of the country's GDP. These findings were once more crucial for the government to take action and adopt policies to reverse soil erosion and promote sustainable agricultural practices such as terracing which substantially improved food production and thus food security. Now for us in Rwanda, we know very well the importance of the ecosystem services. We have done some valuations, have done some studies, we have demonstrated the importance of wetland ecosystems. They have ecological functions which cannot be provided by other ecosystem. So this is why the role of institutions like us to conduct some assessment, to bring facts on the table and then share the policy recommendations with the policymakers and then they can take proper actions. With the uh, coming on board of green economy options and approaches, we believe that economic evaluation is going to continue to be a reliable instrument to inform uh, processes that uh, uh, shift the focus towards green economy.